Hello, I'm Simon Nell from the University of Leicester. I'm looking after two aspects of the UNAMAS project. Um, the first of those is looking at objects and architecture that surround and are contained within the national museums. Whilst in one part of the project we're looking at the narratives that are written in the museum, I'm particularly interested in the messages that implicitly lie within the collections that we built up across Europe to consider whether in, in art and archaeology whether there are implicit connections that make us European. So we're kind of made European in the things that we possess. Even if we don't have an education to fully understand those objects, they're all around us, they've been absorbed by us and they've been transferred in various ways across the continent. So it's looking for the ways that we can find connections and perhaps apply those in modern society and there might be a role for national museums in this. In addition I'm looking at um, beyond the National Museum to look at distributed museums, so regional museums that have a national role in identity. And also beyond that to look at uh, forms of representation on the internet that perform in some ways like national museums used to do but using model, modern social media where the citizen is in control of the messages that are communicated. The other aspect of the project that I'm looking after is the um, looking to the future, where we can go with national museums and how they can have a role in society and that will draw together all the work that's taking place in UNAMAS. I am Professor Kristin Kutma, a Professor of Cultural Research from Estonia, University of Tartu. And we are partners in this project, EU NAMUS, so where we are interested in looking at cultural policy in museums, museum histories, and also the museum citizens. Actually, the museum citizen part of the project is absolutely marvelous from our point of view, because one of our partners in Estonia is the Estonian National Museum. So we are trying out looking at how do the museum visitors understand what national museums are about. And then, of course, uh, history in Estonia, uh, a, a former part of Russian Empire, a former part of the Soviet Union. The history side of it is really important, going back to the founding moments of national museums, which might be rather different from the western side of Europe. So from this project we really do get out quite a lot. So we, we are happy to do the research but we are also looking forward to all kinds of results of the project. Well this is a project that I'm very pleased to be associated with and it's an extremely ambitious project looking at the relationships between museums and nations and nationalism in Europe over a period of about two and a half centuries. Um, whenever I think about questions of the nation and culture, I always call to mind Benedict, Benedict Anderson's conception of nations as imagined communities that imagine themselves as rooted in deep time and with limitless futures before them. But one of the most interesting aspects of this project is how hard the relationships between museums and nations have to struggle to forge themselves against various forms of transnational identifications and imagined communities. So that as we look at the development of national museums in Europe from the 1750s through to the present, we see that national museums are constantly being displaced as they're overwritten by imperial projects of Napoleon, of the Soviet Empire. And we also see that museums uh, as ways of embodying national imaginaries have to compete and struggle to find space for their representations in relationship to the transnational forms of uh, the dynastic empires that preceded nations, the Austro-Hungarian um, Habsburg Empire for example, but they also have to struggle to find space for their representations and their ways of um, imagining peoples and their relationships to territories and to histories. They also have to struggle to find place for national conceptions of these in relationship to the transnational forms of religious imaginary communities. Questions of empire, questions of religion, questions of nation. These are constantly in competition with one another in the history that informs the development of Europe's present day national museums. Right, my name is Stefan Berger. I work at the University of Manchester 
where I'm the professor of modern German and comparative European history and the director of the Jean Monnet Center. Um, and I have been directing between 2003 and 2008 a European Science Foundation program entitled the writing of national histories in modern Europe in the 19th and 20th centuries um, which was um, a, a la carte program in which about 250 scholars from more than 20 European countries participated and the ultimate aim of the program was to establish to what extent national historiography in the modern period did um, participate in the construction of national master narratives in Europe. The project was explicitly comparative and transnational and um, we have published the findings of the project in 14 volumes, um, eight of which appeared in a major series, Writing the Nation, which was published with Palgrave Macmillan uh, in Britain um, between 2008 and 2011. When this project, the UNAMOS project, started, National Museums in Europe, uh, Peter Aronson, the director of the project, asked me to sit on the steering committee of uh, UNAMOS and um, the advisory board of UNAMOS, and um, I've gladly agreed to do so because national museums, just like national historiographies, played a major role in, first of all, elaborating and then also developing the national master narratives in different European states during the 19th and the 20th centuries. And therefore, from an interdisciplinary perspective, it is important to realize that these national master narratives were constructed at the intersections of different disciplines and different genres, um, everything really from scientific disciplines such as history, but also literary studies, sociology, uh, archaeology, anthropology, uh, to a whole range of other genres including the performing arts, um, literature, music, opera in particular, they all participated in their own ways in the construction of national master narratives and therefore it is important to develop uh, interdisciplinary perspectives on the construction of national master narratives in Europe. This examination of national museums in Europe is a major milestone on the road to constructing those interdisciplinary perspectives. Uh, it is very gratifying to see um, how the different national perspectives are brought together in the project and how we can, on the basis of those different national perspectives, develop uh, cross-national comparisons and transnational perspectives on the way in which these national museums operated. Um, in that sense, uh, what I'm going to do at this conference here is present some of those comparative findings um, in relation to the 19th century, in particular ask questions to what extent um, nation states and empires impacted on the formation of national museums, what different tasks national museums performed in the 19th century and to what extent they were successful in creating master narratives that helped found, form and develop nations in the 19th century.